Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial of Android development with Android Studio. In this tutorial, we will learn about how to use the relative layout in Android. The relative layout lets you define the positions of each child view relative to the others and to the screen boundaries. So you will get the better idea of a relative layout with an example. Suppose we have to create a layout similar to this one. So this layout contain two edit text and a button. As you can see that the two edit text are arranged in the same row. So relative layout is the better choice for creating such kind of layout. So uh, I'm gonna create this layout. First we have to create so start a new project in Android Studio and then first we have to create a new layout. So right click on the layout folder and create a new resource file. Yes. Uh, I'm giving the file name as relate relative underscore demo. activity underscore relative underscore demo uh, from there you can choose the root element I am choosing relative layout okay. then click on ok ok now we got a new layout here the parent element is relative layout so I am again opening the layout that we need to create. As you can see that the two edit text contain hint first name and last name. And the text of the button is save. So go to the strings folder in your Android studio and create or add this all these required strings. So here I'm going to add the first string resource. It is first name. First name. Now add the second string resource, which is last name. Now the last one, the caption of the button is save. Now, uh, okay, now we added all the required strings which is needed for the layout. Now go to the layout. Now again I am opening that file. Uh, you can see as you can see that uh, there is a left margin. There is a left margin before the first name and the last uh, and the right margin margin after the last name. So we have to add the required margin on the left side as well as on the right side of the relative layout. So uh, again I am opening the uh, uh, activity underscore relative underscore demo file and giving padding padding left 16 dp and padding right 16 dp now we have to add the child views first we have to add the edit text first name so I am going to create the first edit text
here I'm not going going to provide any width for the first edit text so I'm giving it 0 dp and height wrap content so here I am not specified any width for the first edit text this is because I am gonna relate the width of the first edit text with the second one now we have to specify the hint so I am add, adding the hint attribute and the hint of this edit text is first name also we need an ID for this edit text so I am giving it ID uh, at the rate plus ID first underscore name I as you can see I specified the ID first underscore name so this child component is not visible because as you can see in the design this is not visible because we are not providing any width for that particular child component that's why it is not visible visible also we need to specify the first name to the left of left of its parent as you can see in the layout the first name is in the left side of the whole screen so I am so I am going to connect this to its parent so I am using attribute align parent left and giving it value true so this particular edit text is of is of the align is, is aligning to to the left side of its parent which is this relative layout now I am going to add the second edit text that is last name here here I am going to specify the weight of this edit text and I am giving 100 dp and height to wrap content here I am going to specify the ID at the rate plus ID last underscore name now now um, now we are going to specify the hint for of this edit text go and so add the text sorry hint uh, which is last name okay as you can see in the design the last name is visible but it is in the right side but currently it is in the right side instead of the left side so we have to relate it to its parent to to its light to to its right so I am giving align parent underscore uh, align parent right true now you can see the last name is visible now look at the design the, the second edit text is visible but the first edit text is, is still not visible because we are not spe because we are not specified any weight to, to the first to first name now I'm going to relate the weight of first edit text with the second one so I'm going to add another attribute to the edit text now I'm going to connect the edit text using their IDs so I'm going to add Android layout underscore to left uh, yeah so I'm going to add Android colon layout underscore to left of at the rate plus ID and give and giving and I'm giving the ID of the second edit text which is last name so the uh, so now look at the design as you can see now I'm zooming this as you can see 
the first name is now visible so that means the the weight of the first array text is relate is related to the second one and the first uh, first uh, first name or we can say first array text is aligned to its parent left side is also aligned to its parent left side now we have to add the last view so i'm going to add the button at the right side of its parent and below the last name so i'm adding button giving it width 100 dp height ref content and giving it text save now look at the design uh, the save button uh, we, you can say the save button is visible but it is not at the appropriate position so we have to give it below to the last name so I'm going layout underscore below to the to its last to the last name yeah so you can see at the design that uh, the button is visible and it is bottom and it and it is bottom of last name but it is not at the but the alignment is not right so i am adding uh, so i am adding button to its uh, to its parent right so align So I'm uh, adding layout underscore align parent right true. Now look at the designs. As you can see that uh, the save button is at their position, at their required position, and all the and and we created the same UI that we need to create. So first name, last name, and save button. Now look at your design that you just created. first name last name and save so this is just a, a small tutorial on relative how to use the relative layout i hope you guys like this tutorial uh, thanks for watching me thank you